Good morning, uh, everybody. My name is uh, Paola Villori, and I'm a lecturer of the Technical University of Madrid in Spain. Uh, I would like to give you uh, uh, the welcome, uh, you all, to, to the sessions included in the sixth International Conference on Technological Innovations in, in Buildings, uh, which is organized in the School of Building Construction of, of Madrid. Um, this session that we are going to, to do today is uh, dedicated to one of the Restore Ready events, which is part of a series of, of events which are being organized all around uh, Europe. And in this case, it's been organized in collaboration with the Technical University of Madrid and uh, the TIMA Research Group. Um, before we, we begin with the presentation, I would like to give um, some words about the program. Although you may probably have had the chance to look at it in the website, but uh, well, um, uh, as you can see, uh, the event of, of, of the day, it's divided into parts. Um, in the first part, we are going to talk about the restore cost action and the main outcomes of each working group, which are going to be presented mainly by the leaders or some uh, participants of each, of each of the groups. The first part uh, will be chaired by my colleagues, Mariano Gonzalez Cortina and Julian Garcia Muñoz, which are both uh, professors from the Technical University of Madrid and the School of Building Construction. We will have um, a brief coffee break and also, well, uh, we will uh, stop uh, for, for the lunch break. And after the lunch, we will continue with the second part of the program, which consists mainly on the presentations of several Spanish professionals, which will give us their view and their experience about the current practice in Spain. And we will also have a, a time for, for a discussion um, on, on the afternoon. Uh, this second part of the day will be chaired, uh, moderated by my colleague Mercedes del Rio Merino and also by myself, which we are both professors at, at the same uh, School of Building Construction. Uh, finally, at the end of the day, we will have a presentation about the dissemination activities uh, conducted within the Restore Cost Action. And uh, we also uh, will have a brief uh, wrap up session to, to end the day. Okay, so uh, I will first um, begin uh, with, um, with um, a general overview about the Restore Action, uh, which I had the pleasure to participate in the last three years. Uh, Restore um, stands for Rethinking Sustainability Towards a Regenerative Economy. And during these four years of action, we've been discussing about a new concept of sustainability, talking about restorative and regenerative approaches, trying to make a change towards these new levels uh, or ways of sustainability for both new and existing buildings. Um, so I think uh, many of you are uh, familiar with this documentary of Netflix, which uh, talks about all the damages that we've been doing uh, against the nat nature, against the environment. Um, uh, the planet is in danger and also our existence on the planet is, in, is, is also in danger. So we, we need to do something uh, to try to, to, um, uh, to recover the situation. So this uh, was basically the main reason and the main, the main motivation of, of developing our, our action. Um, as you can see on the slide, uh, this was uh, basically how the discussion of Restore um, started or began. Um, we saw the need to move from a business as usual perspective to a more sustainable, restorative and regenerative approaches, uh, trying to make uh, the planet a better, a better place. Uh, we started to define each of the terms, what sustainable, what restorative and what uh, regenerative means. Uh, basically, sustainable is nothing else but giving back to the environment what we take off, but no more than this. And uh, on the other hand, we have other approaches such as restorative or regenerative approaches, which aim um, to restore all the damage that we've been doing in the, in the last years. So it's time to make a change from doing like less bad um, strategies, less bad um, practice, uh, to more good uh, strategies which uh, help us achieve a more uh, regenerative uh, future. 
Uh, as you probably know, the construction sector, our sector, is one of the main responsible industries causing environmental damage. Um, so if we want to achieve different results, uh, we do need to do different things. So therefore, we as construction agents involved in the building construction process have the responsibility to do much more and uh, try to recover uh, this situation. Um, we are basically building, focusing on minimizing negative environmental impact. So we are down on the left-hand side of the, of the slide where we try to comply with the codes, where we build green buildings or even high performance buildings trying to reach a zero balance negative impact called uh, sustainable. But um, we um, try, well, we, um, we need somehow to, to, to continue our work, to develop our work in a new scenario where buildings or even district or, or cities provide a positive impact, not only environmental issues, in environmental issues, but also in social and cultural um, uh, issues. So we are talking about buildings which are maybe able to produce more energy than the one they need, or buildings which are also capable of absorbing different air contaminants, both in the indoor air or outdoor air, uh, or even managing their own uh, water or, or waste uh, generation. Um, the idea of the project of, of Restore was already discussed in, in April in 2015 and was successfully approved two years later in, um, in November 2016. Uh, the action then started uh, four years ago in 2017 and we are now heading to the end of, of the action. Uh, the main goal of, of Restore is to try to make a change towards a restorative uh, sustainability for the built environment. Uh, this, goal can, this goal can somehow be achieved by increasing the knowledge and also the awareness and, and also the knowledge transfer uh, among the, the network. Um, also by defining and developing new approaches, approaches and creating uh, basically a network. Uh, this uh, network creation is, is important because we have uh, different uh, approaches of sustainability in each uh, country. So we had to uh, somehow merge all the ideas and, and discussions between the different um, expertise uh, around, around Europe. Uh, also, and, and extending this network and collaboration, not only in, in these last years, but also uh, beyond the action once it finishes uh, now in April. This has also uh, an impact in education and also in research, because if we want to make things different, we need to provide all the educators and lecturers with the tools needed somehow to make this um, change possible. Um, Restore established a, a quite a strong network involving 40 countries, uh, all countries of, of Europe and some ab abroad, as you can see on the, on the slide. Uh, it included also over 100 organizations cover, covering from academia to other professionals and, and industries. We were also had a good gender balance in the people participating in this network, uh, which currently has more than 160 participants covering 40 different areas of expertise. This was an important factor taken into uh, consideration from the beginning because it was important to be able to somehow have a holistic approach in involving different agents to make this change possible. Um, this was a picture taken two years ago in the Restore Midterm Conference and workshop that we did in Bolzano. We were able to join practically all the leaders of the, of the working groups and we played around to define specific strategies coming from Restore to each of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Um, we had several tools provided and funded by Cost Association to reach our main goals. We were able to organize several workshops, conferences. We worked a lot in different working groups. Um, we published a lot also. We will have more information about the dissemination and publication at the end of the day. We also organized uh, several training schools and short-term scientific missions. And these were basically uh, the, the type of activities that we conducted within our, our project. 
As you can see, uh, Restore Action was divided into five working groups covering the entire supply chain. And uh, starting with the first working group where we define the framework and we also develop some definitions. We continue then working uh, on how to implement restorative approaches during the design, uh, building and operation uh, stages. And then we also discussed about the technologies needed to create these new buildings, restorative buildings. Finally, we also worked on how uh, we can scale jump from a building to a wider scope, such as a community level or city level. So basically, these were uh, all the main works, uh, the different working groups that we that we um, conducted during the last years. Um, there are already a few publications and other which are ready to come in the, in the near future, in the next months. Apart from the publications of, if, of the different uh, working groups, there are other publications about the management carried out during the, the project and also the, an educational tool. And we are also expecting a final book with a summary of all the activities carried out during the project, which will be is, uh, published by Springer and will be also available very soon. Um, uh, now I will show some uh, pictures about uh, the different training schools that we developed during the, the, the project duration. We had five training schools, one for each of the working groups. This picture uh, was uh, the first training school uh, taking, uh, which was developed in Lancaster, where we discussed uh, mainly the concepts of sustainability and our approach with the environment. Um, this second picture was taken in the, in the training school in Malaga in 2018, and uh, we worked on how to put into digital practice the principles of regenerative sustainability. And then the construction and operation management practices towards a regenerative approach were also analyzed during uh, the training school in Bolzano. Uh, we also discuss about the technologies, uh, more specifically technologies to improve the indoor environment. And finally, the last uh, training school we did was in Vienna last uh, September, where we worked on different existing affordable housing uh, in, in Vienna with some interesting well, uh, results from the different groups. Uh, as I mentioned previously, we also um, did some short-term uh, scientific missions. We had uh, more than 30 missions. Um, for those who probably are not familiar with, uh, with what the missions are, well, it's, uh, the, the missions are where a researcher from one of the institutions uh, from one country goes to another institution from another country and, try and collaborates uh, in, in, in a duration between one week to 90 days and they work on a very specific topic and this was a very good opportunity for collaborations and knowledge transfer among the different researchers. Um, finally, with the ambition to be a restorative and regenerative project, in the end we raised the issue of being a carbon neutral. We traveled a lot, uh, we moved uh, uh, a lot, so our main issues uh, was how are we able to offset our CO2 emissions that we generated during all our, our trips and our travels. That's why we developed a carbon reducing offset strategy. You can find more information in this link and also in our website. So um, we also uh, need your support. So if you want to help us in making Restore the first carbon neutral European research network, you can go on the link provided or on the website and make your donation in order to help us reach this goal of 100% of fully carbon neutrality goal that we, that we have in, in our mind. I know it's a challenging goal, but please help us doing it so you will be also recognized in, in, our, in our website. As I've said before, this event is part of a series of restore events which are going to take place in the, in the, in the next uh, weeks. So we are looking forward to seeing you in, in the next events to come in, in April. And finally, you can keep updated and continue knowing more about this action, about this project in the different social media that we have. We are very active, so, um, so you can keep uh, tuned and, and updated with all our, our news and, and activities. Um, so this is all. So thank you very much for, for your attention. And I will now pass the floor to my colleagues, uh, which will be moderating the first sessions of the morning. Uh, my colleagues, Mariano Gonzalez Cortina and Julian Garcia Muñoz, who are uh, both professors from the School of Building Construction at the Technical University of, of Madrid. 
So I can stop uh, sharing my screen. Um, and I can, uh, you can start whenever you, you want. Thank you.